Hey guys, it's Alex here, and today I am finally doing my May favorites, and guys, I realize my hair is wet, but I just got out of the shower, and I know I sh probably should have waited, but I couldn't wait because I was just too excited to talk to y'all. Okay. But anyways, let's get started. So first I'm going to be doing my beauty favorites and I did narrow it down this time because I know my videos end up being like 20 minutes long because I talk too much like I am now. So I just chose a few things and I had a lot but I narrowed it down like I said and yeah. So my first beauty favorite is uh, eyeshadow and it is the Naked Basics by Urban Decay and if you haven't seen the inside it just looks like this they're all matte colors and then there's a shimmer shimmery color they're not very pigmented so I, you kind of have to pack it on like a lot but I really really like this because when I just kind of want to throw a color on it'll look really nice and natural and I really have been liking this this month and then the next thing that hasn't got much attention on YouTube, which I definitely think it should, is the Telescopic Carbon Black Liquid Eyeliner. And I really, really, really like this. And since the mascara got, like, a lot of hype, I tr thought I'd try this out. And it works so nice. I'm actually wearing it now, if you can't tell. Um, and I'm sorry about that someone's mowing their lawn or something yeah so yeah and then my next beauty favorite is a mascara and it's by Maybelline and it is the Colossal Volume Express if I said that right Colossal I don't really know um but this is like the I don't even know why people don't use this because it is like it is my favorite mascara ever I use this every single day you only need like two coats of it and it'll give you your desired look, I guess. And it's kind of curved, if you can't tell. And I really think a lot of this should have a lot more hype and attention because I really, really love it. So, yeah. If you see this in stores and you're looking for a new mascara, I definitely recommend this. So, yeah. And a face product that I've been loving so much. And I only used it for, like, the second half of... May, um, it is the best stuff ever. It's by St. Ives, and it is the Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. I knew I would say that wrong. Um, but it smells, like, very good. And you, it exfoliates your skin, and it has those little, I don't know what they're, they're like those little beads. And they have them, and it makes your face so soft. And it literally, like, my face was, I don't know, my face was getting pretty bad from wearing foundation or powder, and this repaired my face within a week, and I really, really like it. And if you don't like the shape or how this comes out, there is a tub where you can just scoop it out with your hand. And, yeah, and you can find this, like, at any drugstore, too, so I definitely recommend this. And then my last beauty favorite is by Burt's Bees, and it is Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. And if you're wondering, my friend is over there. That's why you hear noises. Um, But this is Cuticle Cream, and this is... I can't get it open. I got it open once, and I can't get it open ever. But other than that issue, I really like this. I put it on... Bef you're, you're supposed to put it on nightly, so you put it on before you go to bed. And it makes your cuticles feel so much better. Mine are kind, mine get kind of, you know, screwed up because I, I don't know. I pick off my nail polish and it gets all messed up. So I use this and it literally works within like 10, 15 minutes. And I don't know, I'm pretty sure these, they sell, sell, sell. I'm pretty sure they still sell this in stores and I really like it so I definitely suggest this for those of you who have problems with your cuticles so yeah. And then going on to like my random favorites or my non-beauty favorites, um, my first non-beauty favorite was actually in my last one which I'm kind of mad at myself for putting it in my last one because I didn't love it as much as I do now but it is a candle and it is sweet pea and as you can tell I'm a little obsessed with it I can't really light it anymore because every time I light it it just I don't know 
um but it's really low and it's sweet pea and it is like the best spring slash summer smell ever and i they sell this in perfumes and lotions and obviously candles and i really really love this candle as you can tell and i definitely recommend it because it's always in stock they always sell it no matter what so yeah and my next non-beauty favorite is from starbucks and if any of you follow me on instagram or liked my facebook page you would know that i'm pretty obsessed with this it is the caramel ribbon frap and i froze it because i couldn't finish it so that's why it looks like weird and stuff like that um but it's so oh my gosh it is so good it is like the best drink ever and for a while i think it was like for two weeks or three weeks or something they were like on sale and you would get them i think 50 70 no 25 percent off i don't even know but you would get them like 50 percent off or something and you guys know you better know that I went every single day that it was on sale because it is so good. And there goes the lawnmower again. Okay. And yeah, I if you are a coffee drinker, I definitely recommend this drink. And then I feel kind of guilty, but I have another drink that I've been very kind of obsessed with. It's a bad obsession, so if you like this please don't get obsessed it is the Dasani lemon water and if you guys ever tried this oh my gosh I love this stuff there are bottles there were bottles all over my room I had to clean my room so bad because they were all over my room and it was really bad because I I drink I drink at least two or three of these a day so yeah it's a bad obsession, so just a little recommendation. Don't get obsessed. And then for like a fashion favorite, I'm actually wearing them right now, but I also got like a bunch of different colors. Um, shield your eyes, guys. I have these shorts, and they're kind of high-waisted. When I tried them on, they were like kind of high-waisted, but they're the Cherokee shorts, and I literally, I got a green, a blue, a purple, I'm wearing the pink, I got an orange, and I got this bright yellow, like, ba-bam. And they were only $10 each at Target, so, you know, I gots to go cray-cray at Target. Hey, that rhymed. Um, but yeah, I really, really like these, and I guess I'll stand up. These are the pair I'm wearing right now. I feel so awkward just standing on my bed but yeah i really have been loving these and i haven't worn these pair yet so maybe i should get on that so yeah like i said in the beginning i didn't choose that much because i know if i start choosing a lot it gets a little out of hand so i shortened it a lot and it might still be long i don't know yet but that's just my favorites of the month, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys have a great, great June. If you're out of school, that's wonderful, because I'm not out of school yet, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!